Hey guys, welcome to ED Land. I just received my ROG Ally and I really love it. And in today's video, I'm going to go through some quick tips for SSD replacement. I know it is super easy, but I also see many people stuck in the BIOS and stuff like that. So I am going to make sure you are going to do it correctly. And let's go into our video. First of all, after receiving your device, you should plug it in, turn it on, check everything if it is functioning okay, and update your Armory Cray. By updating the Armory Crate, your BIOS will be also updated and it will make sure you have a seamless experience of using the Asus Cloud Recovery. Second, make sure the SSD you are going to insert is at the correct dimension. Sometimes it's very confusing and just make sure you do check it is the correct size of the SSD. And I will use a cloth to cover the screen because at the time when I was swap swapping my SSD, I didn't have the glass protector. It was supposed to arrive earlier, but it didn't. So just as a precaution, and I just don't want to damage the screen. So that is one thing I would recommend. And also, um, when you remove the screws, uh, there are six screws at the back in total. Um, except the middle one in the bottom the other ones are at the same size they are quite long so be patient to unscrew that and when you remove the middle one make sure you know that actually uh, since it is a retail unit it is a little bit different from what you see in the videos of the reviewers so the middle one would not come out from your device it will stuck inside because that's a precaution uh, preventing you to lose the shorter screw so um, at some point you will find that it is impossible to take it out but it is totally okay so don't panic uh, just open up the device with a guitar pick or something like that and you'll be good to go the next thing is super easy you just unscrew your ssd and then replace it with the new one um, make sure you insert the ssd properly because if you don't then uh, the ssd will have problems uh, with connections and uh, your bios will not be able to sense that you have replaced the ssd and will say there is no storage also that uh, later but basically uh, after screwing back your ssd you just screw back all the screws on the back and then you can plug in your device and turn it back on to go to the bios and ready for the asus uh, cloud recovery okay so now um I have done the replacement once again because last time I didn't connect the SSD perfectly and it couldn't load up the SSD and now I can see my SSD here after pressing Y and then go to the advanced tab go to cloud recovery press that view policy agree agree and then I'll need my network next okay so um i will enter my network and come back again confirm and then it will go into the um, the loading screen of windows i will be waiting for a little more while and by at the meantime i am going to continue zelda you know i'm in love with this game So currently, I have, I'm going to uh, the sky, yeah, and it will continue to update, and I'll have some fun time. Okay, next, do you want to back up your files first? No, because this is a brand new SSD. And then, are you sure you want to start the cloud recovery process? Yes. Okay, I will wait and continue this out there. The device will restart a few times and the whole process will take about an hour. 
Congratulations if you see the screen because now you have completed the process and it's time to enjoy your device. So that's pretty much about today's video. The next video will be an unboxing and first impression video in a girl with small hands perspective. So um, I am looking forward to tell you more about my opinion and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!